Imagine being at the top of your game, only to watch your body slowly betray you. For tennis fans like Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic, this is reality. But what happens to those who aren't quite legends? Join us as we dive deep into the lives of tennis players facing the twilight of their careers. In this video, we'll explore how do top tennis players decide when it's time to retire? Can players like Andy Murray and Stan Wawrinka make a comeback like Jimmy Connors did? What keeps older players like Gael Monfils and Roberto Batista Agut motivated to stay in the game? How do these athletes adapt their playing style and training as they age? What ultimately pushes them to retire? As tennis players age, they face tough decisions about retirement. For about 20 years, men's tennis was dominated by Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic. But now, things are changing. Let's dive into the stories of other top players who continue to compete despite the odds. Remember when Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic were unstoppable? Federer is retired. Nadal is nearing the end due to injuries. And Djokovic, at 37, is struggling despite being ranked number one. These changes show how even the best face the inevitable decline of age. What about the other top players from the past? Andy Murray, Stan Wawrinka, and Marin Cilic have all won Grand Slam events and are still playing. Gael Monfils, Richard Gasquet, Fabio Fagnini, Roberto Batista Agut, and Ki Nishikori, who were once in the top 10, are also still on the court. These players, now 34 to 39 years old, still compete despite no longer being at their peak. They win a few matches here and there, but have little chance of reaching their former glory. Despite this, they keep playing and competing. Can any of these players make a miraculous comeback? Monfils is ranked 36th. Murray is 75th. While Batista Agut, Warinka, Fognini, and Gasquet are between 80th and 124th. Chillage has dropped to 1,063rd, but recently had a second knee surgery, hoping to make a comeback. Nishikori is ranked 347th and is still working hard to return to the court. Interestingly, Adrian Manorino, at 35, broke into the top 20 for the first time this year. This shows that surprising comebacks are possible, though rare. What drives these players to keep going? Monfils says his passion for the game and his wife Elena Svitolina motivate him. Murray, known for his frustration on the court, acknowledges that making a deep run in Grand Slams might not be possible anymore. After hip surgery, he tries to savor every moment, including the work and training. Personal motivations and love for the game keep these players on the court. How do players adapt their game as they age? Gasquet tries coming to the net more like Federer did as he aged. But Warinka refuses to change his style. I'm confident in my fitness, Stan said. Monfils tried playing more aggressively, but it didn't feel right for him. It's not my game, so it's tough to change at the end of my career, he said. Instead, I work really hard to keep up my speed on the court. Each player has their own strategy to cope with aging and stay competitive. How do training routines change with age? Carlos Costa, Andre Rublev's trainer, 
mentioned that older players might practice between matches for less time or with less intensity. It takes more time to warm up and cool down, and it's more hectic for the body, he said. Since even minor injuries take longer to recover from, players need to plan their schedules carefully, possibly reducing the number of consecutive tournaments that they play in. Training adjustments are essential for older players to maintain their competitive edge while protecting their bodies. Can today's players pull off a comeback like Jimmy Connors? In 1991, at 39 years old and plagued by injuries, Connors entered the U.S. Open ranked 174th and reached the semifinals, winning two five-set matches from behind. He's probably better known for that run than winning eight majors, said broadcaster Patrick McEnroe, who lost to Connors after leading by two sets in the first round that year. McEnroe said it's unlikely for anyone to do that in today's physically demanding game, except maybe Murray at Wimbledon. This highlights how exceptional Connors' comeback was, and the challenges today's older players face in replicating such a feat. What ultimately pushes players to retire? John Isner retired at 38 last summer, citing health over results. I love to compete, and even though some losses are horrible, I wanted to keep giving myself opportunities, he said. But I'm not going to miss how hard it was to get my body ready, to warm up, then practice, then cool down. Then I broke my wrist. When it got tough to even stay on the court, the decision was easy. The physical demands and injuries often dictate the end of a player's career, no matter their love for the game. How do players know when it's time to retire? Each player has a unique perspective. Gasquet said his body, not his results, would tell him when it's time to leave. Batista Agut considers a combination of injuries, travel, and family needs, though he admitted that winning still matters, even further down in the rankings. If I start losing to players I should not lose to, he said, I will think about retiring. Despite the challenges, these players show immense dedication and respect for the game, making their eventual retirement a testament to their enduring love for tennis. And that's the reality of aging in tennis. Each player faces unique battles and motivations, but their passion for the game keeps going. Whether it's the drive to compete, the love for the sport, or the desire to leave a legacy, these tennis greats show their true dedication. We've seen legends like Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic grapple with the end of their dominant eras. And players like Andy Murray, Stan Wawrinka, and Gael Monfils continue to fight against the odds. Their stories remind us that the spirit of competition and the love for tennis transcend age and rankings. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the lives of tennis greats nearing retirement, give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Tennis Tenacity for more insightful tennis stories. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.